a good morning, good evening or good afternoon folks. Where am I? Uh, sort of the Barn Green area. One of my viewers, Jack, recommended me coming this way. It's uh, So yeah, so I've got my drone with me. I'm gonna walk up towards Bittle Reservoir. So this is for you, Jack, and anyone else who wants to watch it. Um, so as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I can hear a robin tweeting. I haven't brought my Sony with me. I sort of tried to get a shot of the robin. I love the sound of the robins. One of my favourite birds. So uh, anyway, I'm heading this way now. So come and follow me, folks. Follow me. Right. I've got me four before well is on uh, and uh, according to the OS maps the uh, River Arra is just through here so whether I can get a better shot of it um, now I, d I saw this is a bridle way so I could have brought my bike and my first thoughts was to bring the little vault but a good job I didn't because it's very muddy on a Summer's day, yes. Probably been all right. I can see some bike tracks along here. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll put the drone up. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's not a bad day. It's, it is quite cold. I'm going to swing you around. The lighting's better that way. Anyway, join me a bit further along. Less talking, more walking. Yeah, thanks for joining us, folks. Good job I got the four before well is on. So follow me. Follow me, folks. Follow me. Come on, follow me. Yeah, greetings, folks. Uh, it's a, it's a muddy one. You can see horses have been on here. I've got to get my phone. Yeah, I'm just poking through here. Lovely patina just there. I love that. So, uh, oops, going through the fence. Now, I don't know if that's the reservoir there or whether that's i have to get the map out. There is something behind. There's an upper and lower bittle. I'll swing you around to me. I can. Yeah, hello world. Uh, yeah, this reservoir, it's uh, here to, uh, for the canal. And uh, I used to go past it on the boat. Uh, when I had my narrow boat, well I had three boats, I'm not going to go into it now all about the boats, but I've had three narrow boats. That was a good old days. Uh, me, me older kids were younger then, and uh, they used to come, uh, well some of them, <laughs> I've got a few kids, I'll give up now. Uh, yeah, I didn't, it's quite a long walk up here, I don't know how far it is. I'll check the OS map. I have done a, well I haven't done a screenshot yet, but I will do. And I'll include it, because this will be a nice walk on a dry day, so I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, according to the OS map, so there's the River Arra there, and I can hear the sound of a, like a little, waterfall I'll just swing over uh, swing you around and now I want zoom yeah that's nice so that's the river Arra uh, this looks like there's a culvert here uh, and uh, Uh, that looks like where that little waterfall coming from. Uh, it does say no fishing, no swimming over there. I wouldn't fancy it. Uh, 
swing you around to me. Yeah, so I'm not sure when this video is going to go on. I've been in Blackpool and done some videos, and I'm going to the Isle of Wight Monday. This will be on probably in between those because I'll try and spread the uh, videos out a little bit. But sometimes the videos aren't up to date. You might have one that's a month old, which some people don't like. I don't know why, but because uh, lots of people watch my videos from over a year, two years ago, you know. So uh, I can't please everybody, but uh, I do a lot of videos. So I've got a feeling the reservoirs on the right and the plan is when I get up there is to put the drone up for a nose. Uh, I was watching, uh, it was a bit clickbait. I'm not too keen on when people put stuff on for clickbait, but I suppose in a way it was true. This chap, he, he went somewhere, I'm not sure, Yorkshire, somewhere, and uh, he put his drone up and uh, he got the DJI Mini 2 which is quite, well, it's a good drone. Uh, small one like I've got. Anyway, he had a gust of wind coming, it blew it two miles and he lost it. So you have to be a bit careful. Uh, I have got a, an insurance with this, if it flies away, hopefully I'll get my money back. But if it's saying strong wind warning, you ignore it then uh, I could say it's your own fault. Anyway, another shot over here now. See you in a minute. Yeah, that's nice down there. I know where to clean my wellies on the way back now for one of a dip. That's another story. Yeah, hello world. Uh, yeah, definitely on a dry day. Could be nice on a bike here, so I've got too much sun. Uh, when it's blasting down behind, it hits the uh, the lens. I've gone for the side shot. Uh, yeah, I had a lovely time in Blackpool up at my daughter's. I mean, I will be going up there regular through the uh, summer. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and I've put a new bike rack on my bike. I've bought two uh, backpacks uh, from Sports Direct just to try and make my own panniers. Uh, I had my option for my first design but I've changed it now to another option which I'll show you on that when I make them. And this is a lovely view just there. Uh, that's nice. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> I love that view over there. Fantastic. And there's a lovely sound here, which I'm going to show you now. That's nice. A little waterfall there. So it's going all the way down to Wales, to the mountains. You get them like that everywhere. That's nice. Certainly some water. I think that's going to the River Arra. That'll end up in Redditch and then down to Olcester. Lovely. So that's the Bridleway sign there, which uh, that means that you can go on your bike, foot or horse. They always say, uh, walk Worcestershire. This is the, I'm heading up there now. I think that's where the reservoir is. Join me up there, folks. Yeah, this is a nice uh, walk. I did have a phone call, uh, which uh, I've got to give someone a lift sometime during the day. Uh, but, oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Made me jump in the chat and <laughs> fast. <laughs> He's on my video now. Uh, yeah, I had a call, so I've got to give someone a lift, but I'm not sure when. 
Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm enjoying the walk. So come up to the reservoir now, so hopefully I'll pop the drone up for a quick view. Uh, it does look nice. It's very muddy. Uh, not, no one authorised swimming. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> you're on me. Swing your round. Sorry about that, folks. This is uh, for Barnt Green Fishing Club there. But, uh, yeah, I'll just find somewhere where I can pop the drone up now. I hope I don't lose mine. I'm tempted to ring the chap, well, message him, see if he wants to buy my drone, because I'm up for buying a new one. Uh, but I'm going to advertise mine. If I can't get a good price for it, then uh, I'll stick to it. But if I could get a decent price, I'll sell my other one. So I've got two and buy the new one. But we'll see. So definitely going to have to be a hand take off because it's uh, very wet. This will do. Catch you in a minute. Yeah, I'll, uh, I can do two things. I can record separately or keep the, that's the next train to Redditch there. Uh, or I can uh, just keep this video rolling and take the audio straight off here, which I might do. Uh, so I'm not going to do too much drone because uh, I've said before, some people say, just do drone, Roy. But not many people, if I put a, just a drone video on, you don't get many views. Don't know why, unless you put my drones crashed but it might do yet because I hate flying over water and I am going to today. So here's the drone. Uh, I'm going to fire it up. I have to press it a couple of times, hold it down. I'll try again. That's it, I got it. Uh, it's going to be an and takeoff connection. Uh, just wait, it takes a few seconds. Well, number one, you've got to wait for the satellites. And what it'll do, I'll come back a little bit. It'll give me, uh, yeah, we're working. Uh, oh, it's on. Unable to take off at the moment. Oh. I've pressed record, though we're not flying yet. You can see what sort of... Uh, quality you get with that that's nice that's all right we're all right now so i'll press that always point the drone away from you and uh we're off so we'll go up uh straighten that up a bit there we'll go up and then we'll spin round to the reservoir so you get a view all round. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Uh, appreciate it. It's done the own point. So what that does is, uh, if anything goes wrong, it will come back to me here. And what you've got to do, if you're walking somewhere, you know, and filming, the best thing is to update the own point as you go along. We're going to go up to the maximum height keep going Roy the drone's still above my head though I am sort of spinning it round a bit all right so yeah we're pretty well at the maximum height so I'm going to spin round just going to come down a little bit 
So this is a lovely view over the reservoir, I must say. I do like that. And uh, yeah. I've got a zoom function on here, which I keep forgetting I've got. So, uh, it's lovely. There is some sort of, uh, like, yacht club or boat club down there. They're not sailing today. So, uh, yeah, it looks nice. Let's go all the way around here. Good. We'll come down a little bit. Yeah, let's do a little shop down where I've just been walking from and that. Yeah, nice. So I'm going to come down now. So let's straighten that up. Let's go down. And what I do do is I, I sometimes cut some of the clips out because it's a job to put it all in. So I'm just going to do one little flight over the reservoir and then back to me and then I'm going to have a little walk around. It's lovely. The, uh, it's on its way down. Okay, so without further ado, uh, Let's go. There we go, folks. I don't really like going over the water, so I'm going to go up a little bit. Uh, ah, if the drone happens to crash, then I've got no chance of uh, getting it back if it's in the water. So, yeah, I'll just do a little spin round from here. Yeah, so, I'm just going to swing it round now. I've got a little compass here. So if I point it, you know, towards me now, it should come back to me. Look, there's me over there. I'm gonna come down a little bit as well. It's a little bit off, but she's above me now. birds are having a nose so it's going to keep out their way. They can attack a drone going. Uh, oops, we should have the drone behind me. We just go up here a little bit and thanks for joining us folks. Uh, Yeah, it's nice. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'll just uh, prop this here and uh, the trouble with a drone, if you uh, Should miss me. Uh, well, I'll do it this way now. I'm trying to do what we call a dolly shot. So I want to go sideways. So, see that one? No. Nope. That's it. <laughs> I got there in the end. Yeah, lovely. Swing it back round to me. I say I haven't used the drone much uh, this year. 
and you do need well, I didn't use it much last year uh, you do need to get plenty of practice which that's what I'm doing oh that's why Roy So I'm not a big fan of the water, but uh, there we go. Oh, another train. Can you hear it? But Off a bit. Oh, I can see it now. It's just over there. Yeah, just in the distance. Oh, it's coming down. Here she comes. I catch it now. Wash my fingers. Okay. If you do have a drone and if you catch it and you find it's uh, um, starting to hit your fingers, uh, turn it completely upside down, it'll switch off. I'm not going to give you a demo, but uh, so that's it for the drone. So we'll, I'll just turn the, the drone's still recording actually. Turn that off. And we'll, I'll put this away, see you in a bit. I hope you enjoyed that. Right, hello world. I hope you enjoyed the little drone uh, flight. They say it's so light and easy to carry that it's something that will be part of me equipment when I'm out and about through the summer. And obviously, you've got to just get a bit more confidence, but I like to, uh, keep an eye on it but you have got a little compass and a map uh, you know so you can uh, see see it all the time really um, but sometimes you panic but you have got the return to home function I mean that chap that uh, lost his drone he, he, he had the same little thing on his they're on all the DJI and he could have really but it was too late so I think it went too far and he lost battery went flat uh, he could have um, just followed the map home but he seemed to think that if that strong wind warning comes it won't uh, return to home but I'm pretty certain it will because if you lose connection it automatically tries to fly home. Anyway, uh, there's some steps up there. I'm not sure where they go. So I'll, it might be to the canal. Anyway, we'll see. See you in a minute. It's lovely here. Uh, so I got back from Blackpool last night and I, f I feel a bit, well, I feel a bit better now. I felt a bit, uh, I had a nice time up there with my daughter and Found a bit empty. Uh, I'm not going to jump in the <laughs> reservoir. I feel all right, but I did feel a bit down the dumps. I don't know why. Uh, so uh, anyway, this has brightened me up and getting the drone out. Uh, I've loved it. Uh, so uh, yeah, the four before wellies are done well. Uh, so I'm heading. Uh, along here now so come and join me folks follow me
Come on, follow me, folks. Come on, he's popular with the dog walkers here. I mean, ideally, I prefer if people keep their dogs on a lead. You can get these long leads. Uh, I know uh, dogs do like to run loose, but it's not fair on other people sometimes, especially if the dogs jump up, if it's muddy. You know, uh, some people are petrified and uh, I'll tell you a little story in a minute and get around here. This is the upper Bittle Reservoir. How do I know? Let's put this up a bit. It says it on the tin. Well, I was thinking this had a lot of trains going to Redditch, but what it is, the trains go to Bromsgrove via Bark Green. If you do live in Redditch, you can, if you wanted to go to Bromsgrove by the train, you can. Because uh, you just get off at Barn Green, change over. That's if you wanted to do that. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit. I was going to tell you a story. I was in uh, Lytham yesterday walking along with my daughter, and there was a young lady coming along with her dog, quite a biggish dog, and then another chap had a small dog. They both had them on the leads. Then suddenly the bigger dog decided to sort of run towards the smaller one. Of course, uh, the woman, she lost her balance and fell straight over. They all got a dodgy back. I still uh, picked her up. So that's another story. Yes, more dog walkers coming down here now. So uh, you can see them just coming down. They're not gonna film them, but uh, that's nice. Just here, need time to end my video now. After a lovely walk. Yeah, nice patina on that there. Lovely view over there. I've yeah. Seen you on YouTube. Have you? Oh, oh. oh it's, uh, what's, what's this dog's name? That's Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh. And this, what else we got here? We've got Maxie. Maxie. <laughs> Who's the other one? Oh, it's nice. Gigi. <laughs> you alright? Oh gosh, we're getting in a tangle. Yeah. You got the wrong trainers on for this yeah. walk. And that's Alfie. Oh, you got What's one's it called? Alfie. Al Alfie. Hey, Alfie, you're all right. You can't eat my camera. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. Oh. Yeah, greetings, folks. Uh, that was nice. Uh, there's a, some dog walkers, isn't they? Some of them watch me channel and the one lady I said her dad's 90 and uh, he can't get out and she often puts me videos on for him to watch because uh, they're from Bromsgrove so uh, just makes it when you get uh, feedback like that it makes it worthwhile negative people it does annoy me that uh, you know you get some negativity you're always going to get that whatever you do uh, but uh, I always say, I mean, I haven't got a TV license. It's the first time in, uh, I don't know, probably 40 you know, years or longer, uh, uh, probably that long when I've lived on my own or whatever, that I've always had a TV license. Well, I thought, well, I, I don't watch the telly, so I haven't got one. So I usually say to the folks, uh, if they don't like me saying, turn it down, have it like a gimbal walk where there's no, some people do that, or just watch something else. Because I say, if I was like doing this thinking, oh, I've got to get the views for the money, I'd have to, you know, spend hours and hours editing, have a few people helping me, filming or whatever. Some YouTubers, they got, uh, people who are like a bit more professional, they pay them to edit their videos. But I'm just a one-man band. I won't sing the song. I'm a one-man band. That'll do. Anyway, I'll see you a bit further along. Yeah, this is nice. Just here. Lovely patina over there and a lovely little 
stream just here little pan round here uh, let's turn that round like this I've got the pocket um, the lanyard is securing it because they can fall off uh, so for security reasons it's uh, just going to go down here a bit if I can little shop. Can't get any closer than that but that's nice. Back up. Greetings folks or hello world. It's that time of day I'm going to end the video now. Uh, thanks for joining me. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah so if you could press that like and subscribe button can hear the robin that's nice um yeah appreciate that it's free to do the subscription it just uh uh subscribe they call it it just helps youtube share the videos um let's hope there's peace all around the world it's lovely to meet the young ladies here as well i enjoyed that a quick chat that's what it's all about on my walks you meet people and uh, that's it so we'll see you all on the next one this will be in between some of my videos so watch them all appreciate it bye for now bye folks bye